Let's think about a general way of talking about how many subsets and proper subsets a particular set could have. And if we looked at our information from the previous page, we saw that if we had three elements in our set, we had seven proper subsets. And if we had four elements in our set, we had 15 proper subsets. But if we looked at, if we go back for just one second and think about what if we're just looking for all the types of subsets, including the proper subsets, we wouldn't have any additional propers, but we would have just that one, two, three as a subset of the original set X, which would then bump us up to eight subsets, not proper, but subsets. And same thing down here, that would bump us up one to 16 if we are looking at just subsets. So then we're looking at just subsets. And we had eight and 16. So whatever we do, we know that they're one apart because you have that one complete set that is also considered a subset, but not a proper subset of whatever your original was. So if the cardinal number of a set happens to be n, and here we have three and four, those were our two examples, then there are two to the n subsets and two to the n minus one proper subsets for any set. 